Welcome to boot camp. To quote one of my students, he said, you will come out of this class like Rambo, ready to take a knife to the market's throat. This is the toughest class I do, the one that everybody talks about. Trust me, may be painful, but you will thank me in the end. It's my job to reprogram your bad trading habits, to teach you how to separate yourself from the trade, and to teach you how to be in control. Here are some highlights from my last boot camp class. Rule number one, never trade the first 10 minutes the market is opened. This is what we call the shakeout period. How many of you know exactly what I'm talking about? But something happens when you hear the opening bell. The market starts to move fast. You feel like you're missing the party. So what do you do? You chase, you jump in, you buy right at the top of the move. And it's almost as if somebody's watching you buy it because as soon as you buy it, it drops like a rock. You panic, you sell it right at the low of the move only to watch it go up again. Does it sound familiar? If you just wait 10 to 15 minutes, a nice easy trade will come to you. They try to fake it up in the morning on very low volume and then they bring it down. That's why volume is so key. I don't go long a stock that's up on a little volume. All right, so this morning, see 925, there was 9,000. Okay, right at 930, volume came in, but before that, you want to see 100,000 shares here, at least, making higher highs, like real heavy interest. It's real. This is how they bluff you. They pull it up. They know what's going down because they know the orders to sell already. They've already gotten phone calls. I want to sell, you know, a million shares at the open. So what do they do? They don't want to get crushed. They puff it up on a little volume so that, you know, people jump and think, oh, I'm going to buy it like you did. If it breaks 31, right, I'm going to buy it, so to speak, right? And then they crush them. So volume is really important. And I see it's kind of having trouble where we did see that one block. And eight, see? And now I'm happy that I took half off the table. Either way, if it goes up, it goes down. I'm happy I took half off the table. I just really, I love scaling. Scaling is just, it's the best method. You're always going to be happy. And if it means you got to take a little bit more share size to do it, it's worth it. But please paper trade, okay, until you got this down. I don't want you to learn with real money. I'd rather you make your mistakes on paper and just treat it as if you're really trading. Okay, welcome to the master swing class. Uh, this is definitely one of my favorite workshops that I do because it's trading into the future you know thinking about where the growth is going to be in other words fundamentals but we take a technical approach when it comes to trading uh, mapping out your trades is the most important aspect of trading when you don't enter and exit at the right spots you know you're not going to take the highest probability trades blackberry recently came out with a new phone the passport and let me tell you this thing's phenomenal. Do you have the passport? 1050 to 11 is a great day trade. Above 11, there's a much higher pocket here, right? We could get to 12 from 11 to about 1250. Because look at this trend line here. It's rising. So it was here back in June, July, and it stopped. But you can see it's, it's risen. So if we break to the upside, it's going to go a little bit higher before it hits resistance. Blackberry looks really great. The volume is amazing. I'm going to buy it right here at 1028 with a target of 1250. As you can see, Blackberry was a phenomenal swing trade and it went right to that 1250 level.
But you didn't draw this one. How come we didn't draw right here? One, two, three. Because that really signifies this, this breakout right here that it's trying to do. So, yep, that's okay. That's why I'm, I'm happy you're sending me them. Because what you want to do when you draw these trend lines is you want to um, figure out, like, the next move. Like, when is this thing going to turn from bearish to bullish, you know? So by drawing this downtrend line from the top down, that's going to tell you when it breaks up, right? You have your trend line there. And we broke to the upside, right? And you know what, Maya, you got it. You got that resistance that we're hitting right now, right here. So excellent. So let's talk about the top reasons traders lose money. I have seven of them. So which one do you fall under? Reason number one, how many of you watch your P&L all day long, your profit and loss, instead of watching your time and sales window, otherwise known as the tape. How many of you have your P&L up on your screen all day long and do you get excited when it turns positive and depressed when it goes negative? Remember, keep your emotions out of the trade, have a plan and stick with it. The number two reason traders lose money is not having stop losses in place, no control, no exit strategy. Number three, not entering at the right level. If you miss a trade, move on. Don't enter in the middle of a level and don't trade at the wrong time of the day. Remember, the first 10 minutes is the shakeout period. Sit on your hands and wait for the right time. The fourth reason traders lose money, chasing a stock. You see others around you making money on a trade. You follow them getting in after them and by the time you get in, the stock is headed in the other direction. Know why you're getting in and know where you're getting out. The fifth reason traders lose money is no confidence. You watch the stock, you know you should get in, but you're afraid to lose, so you don't get in when you should. Instead, you miss all the good trades. Paper trade until you gain confidence in your system and yourself as a trader. You need to condition yourself so that you can trade unconditionally. Now, the sixth reason traders lose money is because they're not educated on how to trade. They think they can teach themselves how to trade. Now, I have yet to meet any successful traders that are self-taught. Just saying. Now, the seventh reason traders lose money is one that goes really deep into the psychological realm. It's self-sabotage. It's a fear of success. For example, you've done really well all week long. You're trading with discipline. You're trading profitably. And then you do one trade and you know you shouldn't be doing it. However, you can't control yourself and you lose everything you've made all week long on that one trade. Now, I've taught thousands of students how to trade, and I'll be the first to tell you that not everybody is cut out to be a trader. So how do you know if you are cut out to be a trader?